Hi, Bill Sergio here, and I'd like to introduce you to one of my new software applications called Max to Pay TV. What the program does is to tell you exactly how much to bid, the maximum to bid, and remember I use the word bid for any half hour of television time. Our database in this software program includes over 28,000 television stations in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico that we have bought time on. Now, um, we have about 900 stations that we rank, and these are the only stations that we can recommend that you purchase half-hour infomercial time on based on our own experience in buying time on mo a great many of these stations. We've spent many millions of dollars buying time for a wide variety of half-hour infomercials. We've been buying half-hour infomercial time, I've been buying half-hour infomercial time since 1980 on cable and since 1984 on broadcast TV. We were the first. I was the first. Let's get that straight. Now, let's take a look at this software application. Um, this is designed, okay, this application for people who have never bought TV time or experienced professionals who own their own ad agency. Either way, if you have an infomercial, even if you don't want to buy the time yourself and you want to have an agency buy the time, just make them follow the max pay field in this software so they don't overpay for the half hours. This way you can make a profit on each half hour you buy. Let's take a look at how it works. If you look here in the upper left, we have a drop down that refers to the type of media. We have high power stations, low power stations, cable national, cable regional, etc. And you pick. I'm going to pick all types. Then we have three countries we include, the United States, Canada, and Mexico. I'm going to select the United States. And if I select the United States, you'll see here that I have a list of U.S. states. I'm going to pick California to start as a demo. Test means if you check off the text box, you're only going to get our test stations along with the criteria to the left. And these are the stations we recommend that you test an infomercial on. Ranked to refer if it's checked will only bring back approximately 900 stations that we have ranked. And these are the only stations out of over 28,000 that we can honestly recommend you buy time on. And we've ranked them relative to each other for their ability in several areas um, in terms of infomercial performance. Now, if you were to uncheck this, you'd, uh, the software would bring back all 28,000 stations in the database. Now, pull ratio is a field where you type in the pull ratio you would like to get, and that will set the max pay field. In other words, 2.00 means you're going to get $2 back for every dollar of TV time within 24 hours. That's what pull ratio means. If I were to set this at 1, then that would mean $1 back for every dollar of TV time, and the max pay field would display the calculated amount correctly. This is based on our experience over a wide range of infomercials. Do not pay more than the amount indicated here. Remember, if a TV station gives you a rate card, by federal law, all TV and, and, and radio time must be sold through an auction process. Under federal law, TV and radio time is referred to as a negotiated price product and a, an auction process is required. It is a felony under the RICO racketeering statutes to issue a rate card for TV or radio time with fixed prices. And believe me, now the mistake that most people make is they call a TV station and they ask how much. Or they might call an ad agency and ask how much. Well, that just tells the salesman you don't know anything. And you sure as heck don't know it's an auction. So he's under no obligation to educate you that it's an auction process. So he'll say, what's your budget? Mm-hmm, 20000 You know, I just had a cancellation on a half hour. Fantastic half hour, 24000 You know, can you come up with another 4000 And you are about to become the high bidder on a half hour that you could have purchased for $50. Yes, sir, that's the nature of this business. We have actually sold half hours in New York City for a quarter of a million dollars that we bought for $50. Why? Because some body who didn't know a darn thing and sure as heck didn't do their homework called us up and asked how much and we just broke into a big old smile don't make that mistake 
I've made my money in this business and I'm going to show you how to make yours now. Why? Because I love the business. I've been in the mail order business all my life and I truly, truly love it. Now, let's get to buying time. Now, like I said, if you've never bought time before, this software will allow you to buy time and it's really simple. Or if you want to use an ad agency, the key is give them this software application and make them follow the rules in this application so they're not overpaying for any half hour. And they're only buying the stations that we, based on our experience, have been able to turn profit on. Now, for example, now the call sign thing, if we check off the call sign here and we type in a call sign on the right of it, that will only bring back that particular station. Now I'm going to hit the Get Stations. Now you'll notice, one of the first things you'll notice is here, where the call letters might be, we put a bunch of X's so you don't know what station it is. This is a demo. You must purchase this product in order to see the call sign of the station so you can contact the station. Same thing here in the grid, in the data grid, I'll just move this. We put a globally unique identifier that represents the station in order to um, hide in the demo the actual TV station that it is. So let's take a look what everything means. Over here under prices, this row of prices, we first have our minimum paid per buy. So the least we've ever offered that they accepted was $25 for a half hour in this particular station. Next, the maximum we ever paid for a half hour was $30. Our recommendation if you want to get $2 back for every TV a dollar of TV time, which is our pull ratio we've entered here, would be $101. You could bid up to $101. But you can see you probably won't have to bid more than $25 or $30. Now, the ranking of this particular station, this is not one of our best stations even. Look at the call rank. In terms of the number of calls received compared to 900 other stations, it ranks 564 out of 900. The best station would rank number one. Second best, number two. This ranks 564 in its calls rank. In the buys rank, for the frequency of buys, it does much better. We've actually bought a lot of time on this station, and it ranks 105. The reason we bought a lot of time is the price is so cheap, and it returns profit. Sales rank, it ranks only 468 out of about 900. So these are used in various ways. For example, let's say you weren't going to buy a half hour of time, but you were going to buy spot time. That means two minutes or less, a 30 second spot, a 60 second spot. Well, you'd want to know what the calls rank is. You want a very high calls rank. So this would be a terrible station uh, for running a spot. You would never buy time for a spot here because your calls ranking is way too high. You'd want to be under 100 on the calls ranking for a station that you'd buy spot time on. The buys rank uh, for half hours is fine. This is a good station, but it's not a test station. You wouldn't test on here because it's lots of variation based on the demographics of the station. Let's look at the gen general stats here. We have the maximum calls received per buy is four. That tells you never run a spot here. Spots are lower priced items where you're going to need to get a lot of phone calls. Half hour with a high ticket item, like a $2,000 or a $300 product, you don't need as many calls to make a profit. The maximum pull ratio we ever got on this station is $22.29 for every dollar of TV time, and the average pull was $7.82 for every dollar of TV time. And here we've got the minimum cost per order was $6.00. The average cost per order was $22, and the margin here was 95%, and the average margin was 84. These are very good numbers, by the way. Now, depending on the type of product you have, you would look at these numbers to determine if this would be a good buy for you or not. But the main point I want to make is that don't allow your ad agency or yourself to bid more than this amount of $101. This, if you bid more than this, don't expect to make a profit. Now, that's a quick overview of this. We've thrown in a browser at the bottom half of the screen, and we have a bit of a manual here that you can, you know, read up our advice on buying time and using this. And of course, we got lots of stations, as you can see, as you go through this. Links, we've got a link to Wikipedia. Federal Communications, YouTube, Google, Yahoo. For example, if we click on Wikipedia here in the bottom of the station, 
you can and we hit maximize you can see now you can search on data for that particular station on Wikipedia hit minimize it'll split this and of course you can always adjust this by just doing that um, if we pick a CBS affiliate and we want to see the Federal Trade Commission now we can go right to the Federal Trade Commission's website and look something up etc etc YouTube Google Yahoo etc so you have this all at your fingertips um, what else if I put pick check off a call sign and I were to type in a particular call sign here it will bring up that only that one station I have pointed that out before there is no other program in the world like this bottom line this oh and let's talk about ranking for example these are buttons over here and I need to point this out if you wanted for example to add a column here that it now I had added the minimum maximum one click and it adds a column another click and it removes that column from the grid calls rank and now we have calls rank click once and it's ascending order so you can see we have the ascending order this station ranks nine for calls received good place to buy 30 and 60 second spots click again and you get the worst station for calls rank if you want to remove calls rank you just click on this 